That tiny hole right there popped into the chamber and it broke that ball loose that I glued to the front. So it's not doing the from last video if you remember. Now it's just doing the That's probably best anyway. Kind of surprised I have not drilled out the eye sockets until now, but there we go. I totally do not need this much. I think there's a lot of flappy fin swim baits in my future. One inch belt sander. There's a 400 grit belt on there right now. It's so convenient compared to trying to do that fine work on the more aggressive ones. No, thank you. I like this now. Now I might want to get that fin closer to the body. I might even have to add some heat and bend that, but I will if I feel like I should at the time. I don't right now. That's pushing it, but I might leave it like that just to see. It's definitely putting off the arowana vibe. That looks ready to fly away. Now that those friction fit perfectly, we can seal this wood. Hooray, hip hip hooray. <laughs> Been a long time coming. Big moment. Look at that beautiful thing. Wow. The tailpiece doesn't even want to sink. I don't think I'm going to be able to stuff enough lead into this to make it work. This is too much. It might have to be a floating bait, which it floats nice. It, it would definitely work as a floating bait. Like the tip of the nose is perfectly level with the top of the water. Should we give it a lip? Giving it a lip would solve everything and kind of make it much cooler. Let's change nothing about it. Cover the lead holes. Give this thing a cool coffin style lip or something. Make sure it's really cool.
There's like a millimeter left to go, but that is certainly going to catch water. Look at that. There's a freaking shovel off the front of this thing. Now it seats against the wood and it's pretty straight just like that. That squeezed out nicely. It's fully cemented in there. See you at the painting booth. It's not really a booth. Only spraying white this way. I don't want it on the tips of the scales. That'll give it more contrast to show all the carving detail. Of course, the heater shuts off just then after I get done explaining that. light neon orange over the whole thing. Neon red. These are applicators for like super glue bottles, super fine tip applicators. I'm gonna cut just like that, them to that length and insert them into these little holes I made in the front of the lure. That's the barbels. Didn't forget the barbels. They have those. I dropped some clear coat down there and then stuck them in. That's their glue. We're gonna brush this on extremely thin and let it drip. It's gonna pool at the bottom of each scale and it's gonna put like a little highlight tip on the end of each scale if you apply the perfect amount. I'm being super careful, taking my time. It's taking about as long as it takes to carve each one of these scales. I'm leaving a thin orange line on the end of each scale, and that's gonna get thicker and thicker, getting closer to the gills. This could take more than a day. It's gonna look pretty sweet though. Gotta keep morale high. This is a mixture of opaque white with a ton of pearls in it to like start being able to see it through the opaque whiteness. Pearl white, silver, a few drops of detail smoke black even. Because there's also churco turquoise highlight in there. And I mixed a ton of it. When I take breaks, I'm going to cover it so it doesn't thicken up. Hopefully it lasts this entire lure. I am going to have visualizations of painting scales tonight when I close my eyes. Sweet crane. I wanted to start leaving the orange lines thicker down here and work its way up into the rest of the lure. It'll go from that sunburst color, orange to the neon red too, in the head. Neon red in the head. That would describe me right about now. It's been quite a few scales. I'm about to take a break.
Oh, that took forever. I still have to do the gills. Being very careful not to lose all the detail I just painted on, we're gonna spray some pearl white over everything, more towards the back. Gonna start being very selective where we put colors now. Detail yellow, gills, bottom-ish. It's gonna go places. A little bit of gold here and there. A lot over that yellow. You gotta catch it in the right light to see it well. Okay, that's a candy color, blood red. Very accurate description of that color. I think candy colors, their whole thing is they're supposed to be translucent but super strong still, and that's what that is. Last on the fins needs to go, fluorescent red. Just on the outside. That gives it some depth. Okay, we're gonna stamp out some foil for these two. 10 millimeter for that socket right there. There. Okay, I overdid it with the white iris because I overdid it with the white and the scales too. So I thought that would look correct. Maybe not. I do like that foil behind the candy red. That line's right there because I'm gonna do dots too. Random stuff popping up on the bait. There's a dollop of five minute epoxy with gold glitter inside. Lots of sparkles within sparkles. Pretty cool. That's a nice clean lip. That is striking. There is a lot of highlight turquoise in this clear coat. That's gonna contrast like crazy with the red and the orange. Oh boy, last piece to clear coat. Already did all the fins. We just made quite the fishing lure. I glued all those fins in, just glued that joint. It feels like a fake lure, not a fake fish that is a lure, a lure that's a fake lure. That's what this feels like. A lot of why is going through my mind right now. Maybe we'll go test and get a 50 inch muskie and that will be the reason. Let's go, let's see what this does. Testing, testing, testing. Right on. Okay. 
it's time to get some sweet action shots. It's freaking cold out. This shouldn't take long though. Still floats. That's pretty sweet. It's a crank down. It's a big two piece crank down swim bait with jointed fins. I like it. I really like it. So yeah, the ponds are frozen. It's just like little streams in the river. So I, I don't know. I don't really want to go to the river with this because it dives. It's time to shine will be another time. Truly an exhausting build. This thing went through quite a few neuro bait making chemicals in my brain. Tested patience, had me thinking why quite a bit. Your brain starts asking why a lot to get out of work. All of that work right there that you're looking at. I was trying to get out of a little bit. I'll admit it. Always glad that you don't though. You're always glad you don't do that. You persevere and have the end product to see, feel, touch, smell. Smells like clear coat and play with. Always worth playing with flappy hard fins. It's looking like I will be right back with another video. Thanks for watching. On to the next bait.